One of the first things you're going to need to do when you're building a website is register a domain name. And a domain name is just an address to take you to a website. So if we want to go to Facebook's website, for instance, up here we type in facebook.com. So this right here highlighted is their domain name, and it's just the address that takes us to their website. So you need a specific, unique address to take people to your website, and that's what the domain name is. So domain names you can register. They usually cost about 10 bucks a year. Uh, you can register from places like Namecheap, GoDaddy, One and One. I've used all three of those services. Namecheap, in my opinion, is the best. It's cheap, really easy to use. And for any of those services, they have usually have a bar where you can put in the domain name you want, and you can check to see if it's available or not. So let's say I want to buy Oku's website.com. Hit search. As you can see, hokuswebsite.com is available, so if I wanted to, I could just buy it right now. And as far as picking a name, don't spend too much time or money trying to get the exact name that you want. Really, if you have a good website, if you have good content, people are going to visit it, people are going to remember it regardless of what your name is. So don't worry too much about the, the actual domain name. Um, here are some few basic pointers, though. If you can, try to keep it short. So instead of saying Hoku's new awesome website, well, since Hoku's website is already available, I may as well choose the shorter one. It'll be easier for people to remember. Try to avoid hyphens. That's kind of tacky, and I've heard it's not good for SEO purposes. Um, and try to get the .com if you can, but it's not that big of a deal if you aren't able to get the .com. When I wanted to build my site well gifted, I went to wellgifted.com and saw that uh, someone already had it, and I was using GoDaddy at the time. And so I checked on GoDaddy, and I saw you know it's up for auction. So this would have cost me about three thousand dollars to uh, buy. So I was like, well, what other options do I have? And I saw wellgifted.co. No. Com .co was available for 10 bucks, so I got wellgifted.co and it was only $10 and I'm pretty sure it hasn't had any effect on, on traffic having the co versus the .com and if you look at Vine for instance obviously a very popular website they don't have the vine.com they only have the .co and I don't think it's made any difference for them they've been pretty successful one thing to remember, make sure you don't put a company's name in your actual website. I registered a domain. It was, uh, well, I, I can't exactly remember what it was, but it had the actual WordPress in it. It was like learnwordpress.com, something to that effect. And I wasn't able to use that domain name because it had WordPress in it. So if you, it, when you're picking a domain name, just make sure you're not using someone's copyright because you'll probably get a cease and desist letter and you'll have to change your domain name. So do some Google searches. Make sure there's no companies out there with the, your same name. Check, obviously, similar uh, domain names. So, for instance, with wellgifted.com, I did some Google searches for wellgifted to see if there was a company called wellgifted and I didn't find anything. So even though the domain name was taken... There was in a company called Well Gifted, so I felt good using wellgifted.co. So what do you do if your domain name is not available? You can't use a CO for some reason. You have to have this exact domain name. Again, I highly recommend you just find a different name or try to use a .me.co, something like that. But if, for whatever reason, that's not an option. You can either click here and other similar sites, GoDaddy, have a similar feature where you can make an offer to buy the domain name from whoever owns it. You can put whatever amount you want, but they do charge a $30 fee to use this service. So you can use domaintools.com for free and just put in the domain name search 
and this is probably the email you're going to want to contact and if you scroll down registrant email right here however you may need to send a couple of emails to actually get in contact with the actual person sometimes they don't give you the direct email or you have to go through a couple emails to actually reach the person who really owns the domain name so domain tools is another uh, service you can use to find to purchase a domain name for more web tips go to buildwithoutcode.com or check out some of my other videos thanks for watching